Bolzano Verstrass theorem is a fundamental theorem in analysis, stating in its simplest version that from a bounded real sequence xn, we can extract a convergence subsequence x phi of n. In this lesson, I will prove it imagining a sun rising from the horizon. As the sequence is bounded, we can say that there exists some reals a and b, such as every term of the sequence is bounded between a and b. And I will represent the sequence. And I will put a and b the bounds of the sequence such as the terms of the sequence couldn't go higher than b or lower than a. Then let's imagine the terms. So this could be x0, then x1, x2, x3, x4, 5, etc. As we suppose the sun being in the horizon, we can state that the sunbeams are coming perfectly horizontally. This will create two categories of terms. For example, x3, x9, x10, x13 are all enlightened terms, as they all receive the sunbeams. At the opposite, terms hidden by x3, x9, and x13 are shaded. They don't receive the sunbeams. The formal definition of enlightened terms or illuminated terms would be so that if xp is an enlightened term, it means that for every term coming after p, xn is not hiding xp. So everything coming after x3 is supposed to be lower than x3. Everything coming after x9 is supposed to be lower than x9, etc. Thus, this definition. Now, xp is a shaded term if there exists a term coming after p so that xn is hiding xp. So, for example, x2 is hiding by x3 because it is lower than x3. The existence of these two categories gives us an important consequence. So we want to extract a convergent subsequence. We know that the sequence is bounded. This will be the case for any subsequence. Thus, if we are able to extract a monotone subsequence, decreasing or increasing, we would have a convergent subsequence. What happens if the illuminated terms are infinite? If this is the case, we know for sure that the subsequence of illuminated terms can only be decreasing. As we see here, the next illuminated terms is always lower than the previous one, otherwise it will hide it. So if x phi n is simply the subsequence of illuminated terms, for every n, x phi of n plus 1 is by definition lower than x phi of n. x phi of n is then decreasing and bounded. And the monotone conversion theorem tells us that every bounded monotone sequence is convergent. We then have our convergent subsequence, which will be constructed simply by following the eliminated terms. The other case will happen when eliminated terms are finite. What will happen then is that we would have some illuminated terms, for example, this one, this one, this one, and suppose this is the last illuminated terms as they are finite. As we suppose that illuminated terms are finite, every term coming after the last one should be shaded. So if these are terms coming after the last one, they all should be shaded by a term hiding them, and then this one again should be shaded even if the terms following are lower than him, as he isn't eliminated, there is a term hiding it. So there is a term bigger than this one. Again, as this one is not an eliminated term, there should be a term hiding it. And all cannot hide the last eliminated term. So now we get a subsequence that looks like increasing and bounded. So if not by the last eliminated term, it is at least bounded by B. So let's call x n0 the last eliminated term, so that x n0 plus 1 is shaded. As x n0 plus 1 is shaded, there exists a term higher than n0 plus 1, so that x n1 is shading x n0 plus 1. So this would be x n1, and as x n1 is also coming after the last eliminated one, there exists n2 coming after n1, so that x n2 is shading x n1 this would be x and 2, etc. And this is how recursively we construct a sequence that is increasing, bounded by b, thus also a convergent subsequence. So this is how we prove the Bolzano-Verstrass theorem is using the sun eliminating the terms.